Hello, peeps. That's another segment of Straight to DVD. With Dan. And Andy. That's right. Many movies are released every year. But there are many underrated and underappreciated movies that go straight to DVD. So today we're doing a movie called Laboo. Now, you all might not believe the tale I'm about to tell you, but I swear on Tuesday's supper that is true. Normally we wouldn't want to uh, sodomize our brains with another children's film, but here we are again already. I just couldn't resist the film. You got uh, a cute little critter, evil oil executives trying to drill their way to money, and you got a ghost pirate. Yes, yeah, so it starts off with the legend of a ghost pirate. A pirate who apparently is trying to get the gold that was stolen from him. Which didn't know coming up the Gulf of Mexico was Hurricane Louise. He lost his grip on that old wheel and lost his boat to boot. Captain Rouge haunts that bayou, searching for his beloved lost. And the uh, the mayor plays uh, plays himself in this movie. Yes, and he is the only good actor. In the sense that he is so bad, he is just fucking awesome. Don't thank me yet. I can kick you out of here any second. This better be good. And that's why it's good. He's the actual real mayor of New Orleans. So he's a politician. So obviously he's a good actor. Yeah. Is this thing environmentally safe? And you got your for your main characters, you got pretty much the most basic stereotype Captain of any Lewis kind of light-hearted film. You got the head. Brainiac. I found your story fascinating up until the inconsistency. The, uh, the straight middle ground girl. Leave him alone, Todd. It's Toddster. Whatever. And you got the uh, exaggerated bully. You should be too chicken to see a ghost. Or not. Yep, and they all team up to go on a wild run. Yes, to find the lost pirate's treasure. I love Krispy Kreme. Who do I look like, the lunch lady? Mm. <gasps> sugar. Sugar, 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 sugar. Sugar! Give me more! The pirate goes, well, of course, it turns out the pirate's ghost is real, and they end up we lost in the swamp, and that's when they run into this creature, Laboo. And the first thing they do is when they're stuck in the swamp with this strange little thing, they all play music. Well, you know, that's what he does to show his friend. I mean, that's how he shows that he's friendly. <laughs> Play the music dance with them. Play the music dance. No fun. Play the silly music with them. Join in the fun. I'm Join good. in the fun with them. Ah, I'm good. Yep, and what role does this little critter play? Absolutely little. Shows that he kind of just shows up in particular scenes and looks cute. And he, he's like a half gecko, half frog. Kind I mean, of, yeah. That's pretty much how I describe it. And with, the, with big eyes, and he's cute. Yeah, he know? is cute. Yeah, you know. But considering this movie, I would uh, love to see him on fire. But it doesn't happen because he's the main character. I mean, he's not the main character. He doesn't even need to be there. The he, fucking movie is named after this after this fucking creature. Yep, that plays absolutely no role. He's just like some college. <laughs> but nonetheless, let's move it on. And we got we almost didn't include the oil tycoons. The, uh, oh yeah. The stereotypical Texan oil tycoons going yeehaw. <laughs> And they go in the, uh, remember they go in the mayor's office? Yep, and they promote their uh, oil factory, which is the most largest monstrosity you've ever seen. And the mayor uh, kind of goes along with it, if you can consider what he's doing acting. Mr. McDowell? Reggie? I believe we may be able to work something out. Uh, so I lost interest not even halfway through this movie. 
the kids find out about the oil project and they're like, oh shit, it will be the end of Labu for sure. And with the help of some ghost pirate and some other mishaps and... I'm just kind of trailing off here because the movie kind of trailed off. And, and the bully character and the girl character lose their virginity to each other's. Only in your imagination. That didn't happen? The fucking pedophile. That didn't happen? Whatever. Fucking pedophile. Let's see, well, how's it end? How's it end? Oh yes, the uh... Oh yeah, one of the the uh, Texan tycoon's son betrays him. Uh, they, the gold go. They find some gold. They find the lost treasure of the pirates. And... This is a legal matter. Does anyone have any proof? Sure, you matey. The treasure was mine. This guy, he is so cute, man. Maybe we can name today the Boo Day. Or maybe he can run for city council. This movie's basically for a toddler ten years ago. It, it, it could keep maybe some kid maybe around five or six entertained. But even then, it's not really worth the rental. And you sure as hell don't want to be watching it. So, promising concept. Poorly executed, poorly acted. It's Labu. It's Labu, everybody. Look at Labu. He's so cute. Hey, look at him. He's so green and slimy and cute. Labu you just want to cuddle him until his eyes pop out. You just want to squeeze him and squeeze him and hold him and swing him around and maybe bash his face against a rock or two. It's Labu! 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 There's a, and there's one big great scene too where all the, the kids go on tour in the swamps and the alligator infested swamps and they all they meet up with the ghost pirate. He's just, I guess he just hangs around the swamp now. Don't be looking at me, you little scallywags. A a a after everything's all said and done, he doesn't want to move on, you know, to the afterlife. Nope, he just decides to hang around the swamp and entertain little kitties. There be Labu to spy in that there bayou. Fucking pedophile. And and, uh, and then the, all the Labus and all the emerge and they have one big giant concert together. <laughs> <laughs> Proceeds go to the conservation of exotic animal life. I would love like Labu as a piece of topping, you know, just once, just to try it, you know, just Labu, Labu piece of topping, you know, pepperoni, cheese, bacon, and Labu. That would be a great piece of topping, you know, just to try it once. So, Dan, what do you think of this movie? I would rather play chess with the world champion of chess. And the stipulation is every piece that you lose, you have to shove up your asshole one by one. And I'd rather do that, because I'd find more enjoyment out of shoving a pawn and a rook and a knight and a king and a queen out my asshole than I would watching this piece of shit again. So, Andy, what do you think of this movie? Well, after experiencing this movie, this, uh, this waste of my life for an hour and 40 minutes, I'm just going to have to call Rule 34 on Labu. Rule 34 on Labu. Don't forget to make his penis shape like a grotesque chili pepper. Here, you're gonna need these red prism color markers. Well, that's all for a straight to DVD with Andy. And Dan. Ta ta. That's right. Ta ta. Fucking pedophile. <laughs>